And welcome to my playhouse. And today we are in the basement. Uh, better block that light. It's blinding you. Um, I am was checking up on my well down here and found that the uh, emergency well system is out of order. And we built that last year. So um, let's go see that. Over here is my well. Well, 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 um, down there. And there is water in that. Um, yeah, you can kind of see that. Up here is the solar heat system that produces warm water. So it makes a little bit of noise. There's a pump that runs over here. Uh, that one runs around. So right now it's 26 degrees up on the roof and in the tank it's 20. So it's, um, it's heating the water. Not a lot, but a little. But I made this white thing that's sticking up here and that's a little Chinese pump and it has a couple of leathers that um, you can kind of see the you can kind of see the bottom one when that goes up nothing happens uh, then when it the water rises and the next one goes up then the pump should start and then it should pump out water until both of the risers are down again. Um, yeah, it does not do that. So oh, the pump is connected to this battery up here, 12 volt battery. And there is also a charger on that. It's not charging all the time right now. It's not charging. The black one is connected to the handle over here. So uh, nothing is going on there. Let's see if I can reach down and switch both of them up there and nothing happened so um, I think we'll take this up and see what is going on because it really should run and it does not so let's detach it uh, that one that's just the power leads and then there is the where the water should come up. Um, I did a couple of videos on this last year. Um, yeah, this is kind of full of water, so might just sit it there for a little bit, drip down into the somehow. It um, it is also getting very rusty down there. I should probably have known that. Maybe we need to build a better one this year. So the pump. Um, which is this one down here uh, has found its way up on the table uh, still pretty wet I did uh, measure the battery and it was a 12 point 12 point something so that should be good but I, I want to want to try and power it from my power supply here so let's let's make 12 13 volts here plus uh, oh minus and plus there Um, I put a switch on it up here. It actually looks like that something is short circuited. I don't think this is moving. Um, if you see the power supply over here, oh, we could give it some more power. Mm, okay, might not be it. And when I move these, you can kind of see it over here at the amp meter. When I move these, the amp meter moves ever so slightly. So that tells me that this system is actually working. Um, but the motor is not running at all. Not especially maintenance friendly. This comes off. Does this turn around in here? Oh, this doesn't run very well. Does 
this come off? It comes off. Okay, so it might not be that bad uh, maintenance wise. Um, yeah. I have some old uh, racks down here that my mom keeps pushing on me. I have something. I don't think she means for me to use them down here, but that's where I used them. Sorry, mom. Okay. So it might just be the problem that that one is not turning around. So maybe if we um, we power this and try to help it a little bit. It didn't hold up for long. That's a kind of disappointing. Okay, so that motor in there don't really do anything much. Uh, yeah, I might have to go and and get myself a new one. I think there has come water into this and it has just seized up. It looks rather wet and sandy here. And I'm pretty sure that it's not supposed to go water in that way. Mm. As it is already broken, let's just maybe just try and hammer it out of there. It's coming. Or it's going. Whatever you think is best. So that one is off. And so we have this enclosed motor here, which is not running at all. See what I found, tiny screws in the bottom of the motor. We can take it even more apart. Um, I, I don't remember what the price was on this little pump here. I believe it was about $12. Yeah, and then we have the other pump the attention hungry pump that always runs when I'm doing video down here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so the other pump has finally stopped. Um, pumping over there and yeah this is um, it looks like water has come in here and this has probably ceased uh, I can't turn it around so might just be able to dry it up and maybe it will work but maybe it's too far gone I just um, in the meanwhile I've ordered a new pump like um, this this entire thing and the price has gone up. I believe I paid $12 for it the first one. Now I had to pay fourteen and a half dollars Inflation! Ah. We could try and put some power directly on the leads here. See if that will do anything good for us. Oh, this doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, this thing uh doesn't really look like it's connected to anything inside there i think this is a lost cause yeah i think the best thing i can do right now is to dismantle this and be ready for the new pump when that arrives in um, 23 to 42 days thank you china okay so um i've been taking this apart getting ready to to put a new pump in uh, well, which will arrive uh, way too late for this video to be interested. But can we uh, can we take this apart and see where this came off? This was in here, uh, sitting down there. So it must be connected to something inside of the motor here. Right. Maybe get in there.
it's a kind of yeah I think this is waste I don't think um, I don't believe I have a motor like this it has this nice shaft here where this thing kind of presses on I might save some of this stuff because if some of this plastic breaks at some point it would be really nice to have a backup yeah so this stupid little motor um, killed my pump and uh, the rest of the pump is probably fine but yeah without it, it it's not gonna do much yeah, nice system though so this goes down through this and this one goes out here and that turns the water around quickly so it, it sucks up water that way and it blows water let's see that that's up here right so that goes up here so it it sucks water up through this filter up into here it pushes water out to the sides and because the motor is inside this case it pushes water up next to the motor um, and out the out the back here so well, kind of an okay system if the motor was waterproof and didn't corrode so huh. So unfortunately I have to wait probably more than a month to get a new pump so that I can fix my my emergency well pump so we can get that back in order. Um, might just be me that is way too cheap. Uh, I probably should invest more than uh, $14 in this. but. Yeah, we'll try and fix it again. Maybe we will take the new one apart when it arrives and um, yeah, make sure that it's it's better water protected than this one. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.